hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel then jerry with you here thank you so much for being here i love you and i appreciate your effort and also thank you for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed what's the problem what's cooking why haven't you and if it's your first time here karibu sana karibu sana i am so happy to have you over and thank you so much for even thinking of clicking on this to this video thank you so much for being here karibuni sana to my new episode and today i want us to talk about girl talk so i put up a poll on instagram and asked people what would you like us to talk about in this coming week you guys said relationships and relationships could cast could cut across the board you know just across the spectrum it could be a relationship with your mom a relationship with your sister a relationship with your father a relationship with your brother your cousins family in short and a, a relationship with your friend with your friends or friend a relationship with your romantic partner what are they like many other times we look at relationships in that category but today i want us to look at relationships in just i mean i want us to look at relationships from how we relate to ourselves like really how i mean what kind of relationship do i have with myself do i trust myself do i think i am loyal do i listen to the things that i said i'm going to do am i consistent enough with the way i treat myself what is the kind of conversation i have within me what kind of uh growth am i looking to achieve what kind of um uh, uh of being am i and basically that's what we want to talk about today and i pray and hope that this video reaches to you and it speaks to your heart because i feel like many other times we really focus on relationship with others and we do not focus on the relationship we have with ourselves and without further ado let's get right into the video there are so many tips on how you can basically just date yourself you know this is honestly dating yourself romanticizing your life romanticizing who you are and just basically everything that you're doing in this life and um i i feel like this video should go out to women besides all the women even men there are men who have really bad relationships with men themselves you know and that's how we end up being toxic and the past uh, series has been about tapping into our feminine energy and i feel like this video will help seal the deal i'm so sorry about the noise of the vibes you're gonna hear i'm really sorry um I don't know maybe one day i'll move into a house that has windows which are soundproof <laughs> anyway anyway um yeah so many other times we we just focus on the relationships that are just with other people and we don't know the kind of relationships we have with ourselves so on this video i would like us to date ourselves you know what i'm saying i would like you to date yourself if you're in a relationship um i honestly don't know how this can work out but it would work best if you're not in a relationship so what are some of the things you need to learn i mean you need to do how do you date yourself what does dating yourself look like so after after campus i i broke up with my uh with my campus sweetheart and it was a really tough uh it was a crazy tough time and then i got into a relationship and then later on we broke up and then i decided you know what before i turn in, the in any other relationship i need to know who i am i need to know who diana has become after her degree you know things like those so i took time out and intentionally dated myself for like a year and a half uh 20 2018 2019 2020 yes 2018 I think in 2018 is when I, I I dated myself like almost the whole year I was alone and I think sometime in 2019 yeah so what does dating yourself look like number one you need to take yourself on solo dates you're here watching this video and you've never gone out by yourself to have a meal like how do you know the kind of 
means you like without the influence of your partner or your friends what kind of food do you like are you a red meat kind of person or you are a white meat kind of person also are you a lover of rice do you prefer ugali do you prefer uh with potatoes do you prefer fries as your side dish you know when you go when you take yourself out on a date on a solo date to be specific you are able to distinguish and establish these things and find out exactly who am I and in public what kind of a person I am. Well, I'll be on my phone, yes, but how do I relate with other people? How do I relate with myself? You understand? So it's so important for you to take yourself on a solo date. That is step number one. Take yourself to a solo date. Get to find out the kind of meals you like. Maybe order something completely that you would never order. You know, I don't know. Just just go out on a solo date. Have a meal by yourself. Carry your notebook. Journal how you feel. Talk to yourself about the feelings you have within you. But before that, you need to take care of the conversation you have within yourself. Okay, so we've said you're going to take yourself out on a solo date. And the minute you do that, you'll be able to understand the kind of person you are, the kind of restaurant you like. You would even spot something nice in the restaurant, the seating arrangement or the decor they've done inside. And you will get to understand, you know, when you are alone, you're not distracted by a conversation from another person. I mean, with another person, you're able to sit down, introspect, and think about exactly how you feel and what you want. So it's really important for you when you're dating yourself to take yourself on a solo date. You know, I see on TikTok people saying we started the alphabetic dating. You can do that for as long as you can until you find that person who you think is best fit for you. Because many other times we get into a relationship from one relationship to another without giving ourselves time to think and to process and me saying that, I am literally almost calling myself out because I am a serial. I used to be a serial dater. Not that I'm dating now. Obviously, I'm in a relationship. But before, I used to hop onto a relationship after another. But that time when I took myself out, when I decided to take time to date myself, it was so beautiful. And I remember my bestie, she kept telling me, um, I don't understand how you're single and you're happy. How do you be, How are you happy and you're single? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so the, that kind of conversation had me feeling like I'm in the right place, okay? So date yourself, fam. Just date yourself. Take yourself on a solo date. I don't know, I don't know how this would look for a man. Honestly, I have no idea, but I don't know. Take yourself out to a football match. Go to the stadium and watch a football match. Enjoy. Maybe be in your own company. Maybe put your phone away, enjoy the game as it is. Find out the kind of a person you are. You understand? Okay. Um, the other thing you need to do is to actually, this should have been the first point, but it's okay. Stay away from any guy that's giving you the boyfriend energy. This goes to all my girls out there. You want to date yourself. But honey, you're in the DMs of those guys who are catching you. That is that is not going to help because this guy will hit on you and you'll find yourself in another relationship. And then you'll be like, oh, oh, I really wanted to find out who I was. I really wanted to know myself better. I really wanted to be a better person for myself. I really wanted to heal from such and such. And it did not happen. Why? Because you allowed some loopholes. So any guy that's trying to curtail you, stay away from them. Just make it clear. Um, I'm so I'm, I'm I'm so good at ghosting, but ghosting really doesn't help. It only makes things worse because you you kill the potential of this person being your life partner, but also you kill the relationship you had with them. I'm always pro do not burn bridges because you don't know when you're going to need this person, okay? So to any guy who's giving you the boyfriend energy, you need to stay away from that guy. Uh, communicate to him, just drop him a text, tell him um, I will not be able to, to show up for any date that you call me to, I am taking time out to be myself and to to just do what I want to do and just date myself 
technically you understand and that will help you save all the bad people all the idiots that will be in your dms trying to lie to you that they love you and they don't you understand so just make sure you clear off your your dms make sure you're not receiving texts from any people who are distracting if you're if you have downloaded a dating app please deactivate it for some time and then actually get to be with yourself also if you have read the eight rules of love there is this part where he says so i was saying there's this book by jay shetty it's called eight rules of love it's basically a way for you to find love keep it and stay with it forever you know it's like just a rule book of love well love really doesn't have rules you could love anyone and that's okay and there is no problem with that but then again there are pointers that you need to know so that you're able to become the person that your partner uh desire i mean the part the person that is best fit for your partner you understand yeah so in eight rules of love jay shetty talks about um he talks about solitude just being by yourself finding your likings and this video is basically about that you understand if you haven't read that book please get a hold of it you will love it you will love it you will love it okay so stay away from any guy that is giving you the boyfriend energy because that is gonna slow you down it's gonna slow you down such that you're not gonna be able to find out a lot more about yourself and the goal here is to know who diana is is to know the kind of a person you are and the craziest part is um anyway have you had have you had this quote that goes uh if you knew me yesterday you don't know me today because i'm constantly looking forward to grow i'm constantly seeking growth i'm constantly becoming a better person i'm constantly focusing on who i want to be i'm constantly focusing on the better things of life i'm co constantly focusing on growth i'm doing johnson the rock he says um if you if you focus on shit shit grows you understand so you don't want to be the one focusing on shit come on you you want to be the one focusing on things that are going to be useful in your life okay great so those guys kick them out of the window and start afresh on a super clean slate so that even by the end of this six months or this one year you'll be able to be a better person you'll be able to to communicate your feelings in the best way possible you understand because many other times we don't know how to to solve our conflicts we don't know how to communicate to our partners we honestly mother our partners a lot you know like we don't know the dynamics of relationships and many relationships are how we relate in our relationships is based on how we were brought up you understand and that's all you know so it helps for you to understand who you are to begin with and then the other thing is um those things that you do to your partner do them to yourself you understand things like buying them gifts things like taking them out things like uh sharing a beautiful message write notes about yourself write notes to yourself i was telling uh I was telling my friend how those two love notes changed my life. Like I used to write, I saw it, I saw Lydia do it. She would write to herself before she left the house. She would write herself a good morning note and then wake up the next day and wake up to read just right by her bed and then she would read it and it would really make her day. And it's such a beautiful thing to do because it does not stop you from being the best version of yourself. It actually makes you excited to wake up the next day. It makes you excited to go to bed. It makes you excited to go home because you know you're going to get that beautiful note saying or telling you to come back, to welcome back home and enjoy and have a beautiful time. So please write yourself those notes. They will come a long way and they will even boost your self-esteem. There is a way that when you see when you see that baby written on that paper, like there is a way it com it releases some oxytocin that sets you up and makes you love yourself even more. Okay. The other thing is you need to take care of your appearance. Like if you look like shit on the outside, you're gonna feel like shit on the inside. Honestly, I'm not even kidding.
I'm not even kidding. And you know, if you're depressed, you don't even want to shower. That's because you feel exactly the way you look. You understand? So you need to dog yourself up. Look cute. Look pretty. Don't be scared of trying out new styles. Right now, Kojira is like, like right now, there are so many, there are so many, many trends that are so beautiful. Palazzo pants are in, in style. Beautiful rib dresses are in style. Uh, the core dry is also in style. Um, there's so many fashion tips and hacks you can learn online from YouTube. I sell clothes. If you want to look good, come on to my shop. I'm going to dress you up. I offer to style people. I haven't seen anyone in my DMs. Okay, I only saw one. Yeah, so everyone, please just come my way. You'll be able to learn a lot about fashion and the kind of body you have and what will look best on you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so your appearance is also very important. If your nails are not manicured or they, if you don't like uh, putting on tips or at least it's okay, you can have them short like the way mine are, short, well manicured and filed and they look decent you know even though they they do not have color and everything just keep them short and clean um do a face base come on mimi right now i've not done much i only did like a very thin layer of foundation and my eyebrows and some lip gloss and i look just fine and i look pretty you know and a little styling of my hair spray it a little don't get outside looking or smelling like i don't know what you know uh, these days, perfumes cost up to 100 bob, these refill perfumes, and they smell so good. So get yourself one. I don't know. Just work on your appearance. Work on how you look. Because when you look great, you feel great. When you wear a beautiful dress like today in the mirror, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oof. I look good because one, my body is banging. I'm out here working my ass off. I'm working out. I'm making sure I look good because I also want to be healthy. You understand? So when you look good, you feel good. And that's it. That always is the secret. Wear something cute. Wear something that you like when you're going outside. Even when you're in the, ho in the house, wear something short that makes you show your legs. Even if you're showing the legs to yourself, it's okay because at this point you're dating yourself and you're trying to understand who you are and what you are and the things you like. And you're doing a lot of introspection to grow that. You understand? Right. Okay. Um, the other thing is... Um, Actually, that point was the those things that you do to others, do it yourself. I I think like I think I lost my line of thought when I went inside to get uh, my other phone. Anyway, um, those things that you do to others, do it yourself. If you like to give to your partner, make sure you you just give to yourself. Go in a store. Um, there is this thing. There is this book by Julia. Is it Julia Roberts? I think it's Julia Roberts. It's called The Artist's Way. She has ways in which uh, she she guides you. Uh, it's, it's an artist book. Uh, an artist book. Like, basically, someone who is a creative in any area. And one of these things she asks you to do is to go in a store. Go in a store and buy yourself something. Even if it's a $1 thing. You know, $1, that means that's a 100 bob. Right now it's around 150. I don't know how much you are, you know. So something worth 150 bob, honestly. That is something you can afford. You understand? Yeah, so go get it and it's quite worthwhile. It quite, it quite, even if it's a pen like this that you're going to get it for 150 bob, that is going to be worthwhile. Someone like me, I really love stationery. So if I, I uh, in my head, I felt like 150 could fit Stationary. Come on, you talk to sticky notes that you like, the ones that have hearts, the ones that have uh that are small in square, they come in so many shapes. The ones that have a thumb up, you know, like they come in so many shapes. So you can get yourself something that is uh worth as little as that. You don't have to buy yourself a million dollar perfume. You understand what I'm saying? But you need to smell like a million dollar, okay? Don't forget. <laughs> Yeah, so those things that you do to others, especially if they are romantic related, please make sure you do them yourself.
because you do them to yourself because then you'll be able to you'll be able to love yourself a lot more okay and then the other thing is that you need to get a hobby well do i have a hobby at the moment i like to crochet i like to read and these are things that i do inter is it concurrently not concurrently alternatingly yeah <laughs> i alternate between crocheting if i'm not crocheting this season like uh, i'll be reading if i'm not reading this season i'll be crocheting you know then you get to create something you get to be happy about it there is just something about getting a hobby something that you're so excited to do and this hobby let it be something that is going to show you like tangible tangible outcomes you see for example if i want to crochet if i want to start crocheting right now i say i want to crochet a top or a bikini you know at the end of the day i will have the bikini in my hands and i will be so happy and proud of myself so if you're doing a hobby make sure come on there is more to life than just that okay so make sure you are an amazing human being make sure that you show yourself some love and these are ways that you can also show yourself love you understand so get yourself a hobby a hobby that is going to you know to propel you towards your growth at the end of the day learn something it doesn't have to be to be something you've been doing time and time again you can learn how to come on mimi by the way speaking of which i'm looking for a place where i can i can mold clay i feel like i need to try that i need to try that in like i need to it looks so fun the way it's i don't know the clay looks so soft and, and i like to create with my hands so please plug me to anyone who is um to any any kind of uh activity that involves clay stuff please plug me plug me plug me plug me uh, i need i need to get on to that I want to start that as a hobby. And the last thing you need to do when you're dating yourself is journal on a daily or weekly, depending on how on how easy that will be for you. You know what journaling does? Journaling da what journaling does is that it helps you to to put things into perspective. Sometimes I could be going through something and I don't know how to process it. But then if I journal that whole week, I'll be able to to point out and even as i write i'll be able to express myself better and when you write your mind just flows with ideas with uh, concepts with things that you need that that are in your heart you understand what i'm saying so journaling will really help you put things into perspective if anything it will also help you track your growth during this time of being single you understand because if you do not If you don't track your progress, then how then do you know you're growing? You know what I'm saying? So it's so important for you to do journaling. And I know journaling it can be an extreme sport to someone who doesn't like to do it. But when you put your mind to it, you can do it. You're going to do it. Because journaling will help you. So for example, say you commit yourself, you commit to dating for... Say you commit to dating for let's say six months okay uh so this is august uh let's say from september october november december january and february those months i'm gonna be alone i'm going to be intentional about everything i do i'm gonna get a hobby i will go on a solo date every month i will go and see um i will journal at least every week or two times a week or daily if i'm able to and by the time february reaches the amount of progress you will have done if you read through the pages of your channel the amount of progress you will have gotten will be so tremendous you will be so happy and proud of yourself that's why i encourage you to journal because that helps you and when you're journaling how does journaling i think i have a a video on journaling i have a video on journaling you need to go watch it because it's so important for you to learn to even learn how to journal and journaling is life-changing honestly and even as i say this i started right i started journaling when i was at 
nilikuwa mdogo i think i was in class 5 class 5 or 4 i think i started journaling nikiwa class 4 i used to write mimi nilikuwa wale watoto wa dear diary today i feel like this like this this is what happened um i'm an avoidant okay how i start let me just tell you a short story as i as i wind up so i'm an avoidant i was brought up by my mom mostly and uh, she wasn't as present because she needed to work so that she can put food on the table so as an avoidant child how i coped with my feelings was through writing i was so good in composition and i feel like that's why my english is so good and i also really love to read story books so technically i mean so basically i i really liked to engage in literature you know what i'm saying so as a kid i used to cope with my feelings through writing i could write how i feel i could if i was sad i could write it if i was happy i could write it how my day went my journal was my best friend you know what i'm saying so this is a culture i cultivated from when i was such a kid although as an adult i do not journal like i used to and these days i journal i do journal i wouldn't say that i do it on a daily but journaling when i start journaling i don't stop like i i write and write it can also be exhausting to write many pages but it helps you a lot a lot a lot in fact go watch that video so yeah so as an avoidant child i learned to journal as a kid and that's how i coped you understand what i'm saying so that's how i coped and to me journaling comes so easy it comes so naturally sorry if you hear kids screaming kids are on holiday and i can't tell them to stop so please bear with me <laughs> Okay so let me end the video there. Thank you so much for watching and please date yourself. You will learn so much about yourself because if you do not date yourself then how then do you get to know the kind of a person you are? People will be judging you. People will be telling you things about yourself and you're like, "Ah, I don't think that's me." You know, you'll be very aware of who you are and then end at the end of the day you'll become a better partner. you become a better friend a better cousin a better sister and a better daughter you know you become like you become so healthy and healed you will thank yourself for it okay so date yourself and dating yourself can be hard i will not lie it can be hard there are those days if you are relating you will be horny <laughs> you will be horny you will be horny for days and then there are those days when you're on your periods you just want cuddles take a pillow grab a pillow uh get a teddy bear when you're when you're on your periods and you feel sad get a hot bottle put it around your tummy it will relieve the pain just take care of yourself give yourself the love that you think you need to get from anyone else you understand so just this it's gonna be difficult if you commit to this it's gonna be smooth you understand it's gonna be difficult at the beginning because you want someone to text you good morning you want someone to text you good night you want someone to check in with you at the end of the during the day and we have apps that can help you do that come on if you want a good morning text what do you do you write yourself a note in the morning when you wake up you see it you like I'm so proud of myself and I'm happy to wake up and I'm excited you understand and then if it's during the day you have affirmation apps let it pop it will tell you you're beautiful and believe it you understand because you are in the evening when you come home write yourself a note before you leave the house welcome home my darling light a candle or run a bath you will feel better you know what i'm saying yeah so dating yourself can be can be difficult but also it's the best thing that any person can ever do to themselves you understand great thank you so much for clicking onto this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being amazing thank you so much for listening to me all the time you've listened to me please subscribe leave me a comment and make sure you plug me to that place where i can mood and stuff like that you know what i'm saying Okay, have yourself a wonderful evening, day or morning, whatever time you're watching this. I have to love you and leave you. It's been me, your girl, Diane Brooks. Bye.
Mm-hmm.